or some of you may have lofts, and there are some techniques that may work if you have new lofts. One technique is called bundling, and in that technique, you can bundle your hair in small sections. You can either braid it or twist it, and bend them over with rubber bands, and this will um, allow you to wash your hair without your locks coming loose if you have new locks. Also, I want to say for those who have locks, you want to be careful when you're using conditioners. Um, I always say maybe less is best because uh, with locks, you know, you, you don't want to uh, create any buildup in your locks, and sometimes it's kind of hard to rinse all of the conditioners out. So. And once again, Miss Mofe is located here in Tampa. If you'd like information on her salon, you can find it back um, in the back of her table called Luby and Not. She's an excellent, excellent stylist. Um, Okay, and to um, conclude on our topic of shampooing um, and the whole hair washing process before we go ahead and take questions, three things that I'd like to note really quickly. I know a lot of people, um, I've definitely even heard it speaking among people today, are wondering what co-washing is. You'll hear us use that term probably quite often up here. Co-washing is conditioner washing your hair. Um, this is the process of basically excluding shampoo in the washing process and just using your conditioner. You may think that conditioner is not going to get your hair as clean, but I mean, it cleans your hair, but it also, in the same sense, moisturizes it without stripping it. Now, if you do feel more comfortable using shampoo, which I alternate in between, um, you want to choose a shampoo that is sulfate-free. This is highly important, not just for natural hair, but just for all hair textures, period. I know a lot of people who try, whether it's black soap shampoo or very mild shampoos, think, oh girl, it's not working because it's not setting up in my hair. Please understand that the lathering agent that majority of these um, hair product companies put into these shampoos is L'Oreal Sulfate, which is the drying agent. It's gonna give you the pretty white suds and you'll feel like you're getting it clean, but what it's doing is not just cleaning the gunk off of your scalp, it's stripping your entire hair shaft of its oils, which means now when
when you come out of the shower and you're going to your styling process, you're basically going to have to go above and beyond to add back the moisture and oils that the shampoo just took off. So just keep that in mind. And to follow up on what Ms. Phyllis was saying, when you're shampooing your hair, do I did a video, I think, on this recently. Don't shampoo and go like this, like you see in the movies. Like, this is not like raking the yard. This is not raking the leaves. This is wrong. You're tangling your hair. You're tangling your hair so much. Try this technique by just putting your hands like, you know, up onto your scalp and just rubbing, like she said, with your the um, ball of your fingers. All you need and the whole top reason that you're trying to um, shampoo your hair in most cases is to lift all that product build up and gum off, off of your scalp. So if you shampoo like this, it's not adding tangles as much. You don't have to go out and in. Just stick to your scalp. And the very last thing is, um, let me just say really quick, is cleansing your hair. I know this topic also comes up a lot in, especially after everyone goes natural. They're like, how am I gonna, you know, cleanse my hair? My twist outs are feeling a little bit heavier than normal. My braid outs are feeling heavy. Cleansing your hair is a pretty simple process. Everyone has their own technique to do so. Um, some of us use cleansing agents, like um, actual cleansing products. Which one do you use? Jesse Curl, cleansing cream. Not Miss Jessie. Jesse Curl. <laughs> and then me, um, I choose to stick to um, the apple cider vinegar rinse. is one of my top favorites. And I mean, a lot of us use it, but if you're not familiar with the apple cider vinegar rinse, you take warm water, apple cider vinegar, and you can add like a little bit of olive oil because you still want to have some moisture in there. And all you do is you're just basically pouring the apple cider vinegar and water over your head. And this is like basically causing it to run through. Usually you have like a bucket or something to catch it. And I do probably like two pours. It makes a big difference. Your hair will definitely feel cleansed. It will definitely feel clean, especially when you have product buildup. If you've taken out a protective style like braids and twists and your hair feels really gunky. Um, if you would like a, um, a rinse that is, you know, or a cleansing agent that is something that's more clean and easily put together that you can do on a regular basis, you can experiment and try to use bentonite clay, which, I mean, a lot of people can testify, you know, especially when you're about to wear wash and go, or you want your twist out to be like, oh, so furlicious, you want to use that bentonite clay. What bentonite clay is, it's a natural clay. When you mix it with water, it's activated. Anything it touches, it pulls the impurities out of. So if you mix it with water and a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, and you put it in your hair, you use it as a hair mask and you rake it through. Number one, it's going to temporarily elongate and stretch your curls. And number two, it's gonna cleanse your hair. Like, you'll seriously, testimonies, it'll feel like really squeaky clean. So that's a, yeah. Yeah, yeah and your face. Mix it with water and apple cider vinegar, and you have a wonderful face mask. Um, we definitely have some bentonite clay available over at Allocate Naturals. And now we're going to open the um, floor to questions from you all. And don't be shy, just as soon as you raise your hand, um, we're gonna have Jessica 